Green interwebs, it's Jackie K. Welcome for another edition of Pokemon XG Next Gen. Last time, I'll admit we didn't do too much, just fought a couple trainers. Got some Pokemon purified while messing around with this little device that apparently is tied to the entire production of Shadow Pokemon. And our other most convenient, a little jiggle here and there essentially blew up the entire building. More metaphorically than literally, but a little bit of a roll in the mix. That opened up this gateway, so I think now's a good time as any to see what's inside. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out? Every last one? Impossible. One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made. Ugh, I wrecked my factory. Smear dirt all over my good name and standing. Done it now. I'm seeing man, there's no forgiving that. Prepare to drop. Wonder how long before the monkey. <laughs> Half expecting this mod to throw Donkey Kong reference or something in here. Just. I don't know. That's something that would be in the back of my mind. Mine with just that gorilla battle stance that he has. Alright. Oh, we're already getting into Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> I was gonna say, I decided to stick with my all Shadow Pokemon team because it becomes more and more apparent that the main team of Purified Pokemon is underleveled. And this battle makes it seem significantly so. But that means even the Shadow Pokemon are a little underleveled. So, you know what? We're gonna have a fun time either way. Fantastic. Let me see if I can start with poisoning you. Is that even worth it with a uh, Aerodactyl though? Guard. I don't think either of you can really do anything too significant. It just sucks that I can't really just Earthquake spam. Mm, this lower stats. This normally has recoil damage. Okay, I actually remembered it this time. And I didn't even have to look at the menu screen. Fire Fang? Were you expecting me to swap or something? Weird, but okay. <laughs> I'm kinda like... I, in the back of my mind, I knew it was inaccurate. Of course it bites me in the butt. And now I know that I can't go for that again because... He outspeeds me. A freaking Steelix outspeeds me. Mm, I wish Weezing could do more than just stand here and be Earthquake support. Maybe going for the Shell Sick. Maybe this Aerodactyl won't take as long as I. Oh, I do have Shadow Guard. You know what? I'm gonna take my chance of staying in. Um, do I just boom up now while I have a chance? No, it's slightly too early for the boom. You resist it, but you're also pretty heavy. Uh, I shouldn't let that be a deciding factor, though. Well, because I can protect, I think I will protect. Just to see if I can buy myself an opening. Oh, that is a bit more... I know Aerodactyl's frail, but it's still a bit more damage than I was expecting a trip of all things to do. And more importantly, that should finish it off next turn. Yeah, let's just go for it. Um, it also would boost my Shadow Boom when that's inevitably gonna happen. Um, anyone else on this team no Protect? Or am I just gonna have to wall it? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to actually switch to you. I wanted to double check what Fairy Wind did. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. And the worst part is, as I was doing that, in my head I was going, Guard 4 would be nice, but not now. Not while the Sealers is still out here. I mean, I guess the Steel typing wasn't the part that I should have been worried about, but still. 
Great, and now I can't just go boom. Or at least I shouldn't just go boom. <sighs> okay, there's no way the Sand Slash is going to be a shadow, though. At least we got that going for us. So, I'm just going to see if I can get away with it. Okay, I was trying to double check what Fairy Wind did. Because it seemed weird to learn so late when it seemed so weak. Yeah, I assume it attacks both of them, so maybe that's a perk, but that's still like a 40 damage move this late into the game. I know fairies don't have the most of our move pool in the world, but still. You know, I should. A guard force should outspeed the Weezing, so. Maybe I can at least get the nap before going down. <laughs> or maybe I won't even get the chance to go down. I'm sure there's a perk to that. The good news is that that was the Pokemon that hasn't attacked quite yet. It's kind of a shame that it feels like I was hyping up that Weezing so much and yet it feels like it's done so little in these battles. Part of me wonders if I should have stocked up on the items before taking on the boss, but I think we'll have just barely enough to get through this. Oof. Bit more damage than I would like. But Berloom is Berloom. I gotta be grateful that I didn't knock it out. Can I drain Punch it though and just give myself a tiny bit of health to push me a little bit further? Little more than tiny, but sure. <laughs> and it's okay, because it's going down this turn. So. Hopefully I can get my health back, drain the Steelix proper. That's at least the most ideal situation I can think of right now. And that was not part of that ideal realization in the slightest. The problem is, if that Steelix decides, oh hey, this Berloom seems more interesting to knock out than the Shadow Pokemon. The moment the Shadow Pokemon decide to start attacking the non-Shadow Pokemon, I'm toast. Well, there is a solution to that. But not a great one, when like, Drain Punching either one of these would be better. With your low health and high defense. Let's give it a shot. Although, <laughs> if I get hit by a Needle Arm... That be a uh, okay. All right, I see your strat, and I don't like it. I see why you keep going for those non-effective moves. That was your dealio with Fire Fang too, wasn't it? So I'm gonna need to step things up if I want to actually uh, win this fight. Though you know what happened last battle when things weren't going my way. I just started throwing Ultra Balls and <laughs> magic, and the battle magically got better. I'm, I'm very tempted to do that again. You know what, we have Ultra Balls to spare. Why not try it once? Just once. We'll go back to legitimately chipping it down, things you're supposed to do in Pokemon games. But let me heal myself with one attempt. <laughs> Getting that dumb thing out of the way is gonna make life so much easier. Don't even care about that knockout. I know it's in vain because he's gonna have more shadow Pokemon, but... For right now, I celebrate. There they are! I'll admit, long, long ago before I ever played this game, I think I, I could never, I cannot remember where, but I could have sworn I saw somewhere legendaries. I can't even remember if it was Reggie Rock, but Reggie Rock makes sense to, now that I see it. Oh, did I kill for an attack boost already? I got so distracted. Oh my god, and you're quite weak to bug. 
Screw whatever I was planning. You're <laughs> gonna go for this. And speaking of, might as well use Waterfall because there's no way I'm catching this thing in an Ultra Ball at full health. Point being, I may or may not have seen that there's some new legendaries in XG ages ago. I just forgot exactly when they where they were, and the fact that like none of the bosses up to now have had them made me wonder if any of them were going to have them. Very interested to see how the rematch is going, though. And if only I still had Berlin. I was not expecting to be backed up into a corner this easily. And something tells me that I can't just throw Ultra Balls and win this time. Just a hunch. Right now, the best game plan I can think of is to just keep using Waterfall on... Fairy Wind doesn't even attack both of them. What's even the point? But yeah, I kind of get the feeling that I can't just Waterfall or can't just Ultra Ball spam and win. I'm hoping that if I go for... I'm hoping if I go for a couple waterfalls though that I can at least cause a flinch. Maybe not quite yet though. Maybe I... Actually it might be better if I just put them both to sleep because if they're sleeping, they can't attack me. Pokemon 101. God, the problem is Shadow Hunter and the fact you have that move is not... A Neat combination. I, at least they made the right call putting the slower one to sleep first. It only did so much because I was at full health and madness cuts the HP in half. Also, I'm faster than Clay though. I don't know why I got the impression that I wasn't, despite the fact that the turn just happened. Either way, Waterfall seems like a good chipping move. Doesn't do a lot of damage, it might cause some flinches, which would be very appreciated. Guess who's not getting this right now? Guess who's trying again? <laughs> Guess who's trying again? Screw it! What do I got to lose? It's worked in the past. Panic with Ultra Ball. Win the battle. <laughs> that was way too close, though. Let's see how it goes. A one. Nope. Didn't even get humored by it. That's fine. I have a strong feeling that I was going to get knocked out this turn either way. Well, I guess that was a valid first attempt. See you all at attempt number two. No, you're not getting deja vu. I just didn't feel like coming all the way back up here and wasting the items we got, so... Sorry, probably not gonna see any rematch dialogue today. Here goes something. I don't even recall if I actually readjusted my team at all. We're just going to go in with knowledge knowing that since I should have a Pokemon right off the bat. Cool. And because it's Shadow, like, the Shadow Shake spam won't work either. The, gr <laughs> the grass is... I see that super cool, that quad effective hit. Okay, you're, you damaged me, that's fine. I'm not using this anything anymore anyways. <laughs> oh man, I know you're resistant. But wow, that was not even worth it. 
I was I knew I wasn't gonna knock it out. I was hoping to get a little a decent amount of chip damage in that way though. Oh baby. Uh, I mean so far Bite my tongue, bite my tongue, not I did not I was not gonna say so far so good. Why would you imply that? Ah. <laughs> I'm just concerned about if I... I might as well heal, but I'm a little concerned that if I heal and I just get knocked out anyways, then the Hyper Potion is wasted. Okay, good to know that <laughs> doing Lily Squat to steal it as well. Cool, now we got Double Shadow Hunter on the field. Uh... Case. Endpoint. You know, Weezing, maybe I bite, maybe I bit the bullet too soon. In the meantime, let's see how much the Shadow Temple does. No, does next to nothing, but... We have a skill link going. Let's we'll see what the full combo does. Sorry for the incredibly long animation that this is gonna pull. Ah. No. With how wally these Pokemon are, maybe a Shadow Hunter. These are ourselves, wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Earthlunch. You know what? I'm gonna risk this. Well, I can't poison it because this part's deal. Maybe bait the Shadow Hunters? If I can get one of them off the field, that would help out so much in of itself. I don't even want to send Garvor out when they could just gang up on me. Oh, that's right, it does damage. Right, for now, this could work in my favor. But alas, you did a good service, Weezing. You've helped me out in a way that I never would have saw coming just from that one guard. That Reggie Rock's gonna wake up eventually. Oh, come on! Throw me a bone, at least let me have the steel eggs. I know this Regirock's gonna be here all day. A one, a two, a three. Woo! I mean, and I thought the Regirock is gonna be the hard one of the bunch. Oh, cool! It's going for the all range flinch hacks. Fantastic! Zippity do that, zippity a. My oh my, your dirty turk didn't work today. <laughs> Don't know why work came out that way, but we'll roll of it. Gotta get the Steelix out of here while I can. Because that shell hunter, man, that shell hunter. If I leave this thing on the field, I'm gonna have no chance of actually being able to finish this battle. Like, we're so close to winning, but we're also so close to losing. It almost be a good idea to revive someone's back up just in case. Ah. And that's right, you're a Shadow Pokemon too. Oh god, we were so close. Could waterfall, but if I flinch, it's over. And it might be over even if I don't flinch. And I want, it's mostly I just want to throw an Ultra Ball and hope I get lucky. I'm more worried about the Aerodactyl right now. I did, where was the crit? That was definitely crit level damage, but I didn't see the crit. Who boy. Guess who's gotta try that again. Okay, attempt number three. Took a couple days off. Took some time, may or may not have been half an hour's worth, to go through my entire team, all the Pokemon I have, to try to put together the best team I can for this fight. Excluding the fact that my memory 
of the boss fight might be a little foggy because it's been a couple of days since I last recorded. But I put together the most solid team I could out of the shadow Pokemon I had. I would use my actual team members in this mix, but I think they're just too underleveled and they're not going to be able to keep up with the rest of the game until I can just get those levels from Mount Battle or something. But it would be kind of awkward to end... But it would be awkward to take two attempts at this fight and then just run off in the middle of it. So we're trying this out first. Full Shell team. I know Shell Hunter's gonna be a pain in the butt because of that, but we have some workarounds for it. So I was debating between going with either Agron or keeping the ride on for lead offensive threat. But I think I want to try Shadow Shake again, especially in combination with our newer edition, Fortress. The Weezing's going to be a bit underleveled until we purify it, so... This serves a pretty similar role of trying to be defensive in combination with the Shadow Armor. And it's got some moves that I might save my butt, like Shadow Analysis. Or Shadow Guard, especially in combination with... The right on there. Decided to keep the Gardevoir because I gotta have someone that can put things to sleep on this team and if I'm not keeping Burloom then Gardevoir is my next best option. Plus things like Shell Madness will probably be pretty helpful in ensuring that we actually get through the fight. Actually can cripple down the Shell Pokemon without knocking them out. Our canine was a lead that I was thinking about trying out anyways. But I think in combination with its Aurora Filter and Intimidate this could be a good way to keep to get things under control if the boss fight gets too out of control. And who knows, like Oh yeah, also Shadow Burn would probably be good. Like I recall him having a lot of physical offensive threats. So that would just be another thing on that notion of having our canine be shadow control slash or damage control I should say. Slash clean up. Greatly, I'm kind of interested in trying out. I mostly put stuck it on the team because I had a bit of a water weakness and even a bit of a rock weakness before I swapped some things around. And having a grass type helps cover that. Oh, that's what it was. I had a bit of a fire weakness. And Greatly is at least neutral to both of them. Though I think we might be able to get some use out of things like Shadow Spirit and maybe Trip. It was doing a lot with the Weezing of all things. I think this is the other one I threw my second Aurora filter on. So yeah, yet again, it's another Pokemon to help hold myself together while I'm healing up my team or anything like that. And last but not least is a Machamp. It's a little bit low, but it was either this or the Heracross, and as much as I wanted to have the Heracross, I didn't want to have two Pokemon on the team weak to fire. I don't recall any major fire threats that he could pull out on us, but even if he doesn't have fire Pokemon, that doesn't mean he could have a, wouldn't have a fire move or something. So here across the fortress together just felt like it, leaving myself way too open to a fire and flying weakness. But I think that like in combination with Shadow Focus, it could be good. Plus like Shadow Throw, again, just any if there's a Pokemon I don't want, any option to either cripple it or just get it out of there is well and appreciated. I think that's one of the reasons why I leaned it on the champ. Alright. I don't know if it's going to be something, but here it goes anyways. Ooh, that. Also, I've been experimenting with video audio settings to try to reduce. In case that was actually good enough with cutting for people not to know this. I have been having some technical issues with just the audio stuttering and it actually showing up in the video. So I tried to mess with my settings and lowered down the ultimate sea of things to try to that reduce that. But I don't think it really helped any sort of vein. So don't mind me if things are jumping around a bit the past few episodes. This video capture from the Elgato is there's gonna be a bit of a growing pain with it. I I'm afraid. Anyways, ugh. 
one of them is weak to ground, but I'm not sure if that's enough justification to go for that rather than just a move that I can target it directly. So maybe if I could like block the Shadow Hunter, that could be helpful. Let's go with that and see how it goes. Ooh, it's a good thing they actually did one for the protect there. Perfect. Baited. Excellently. Did a little... Oh, I forgot about the one downside of an old shadow team. Having a bit of a hard time actually crippled down the shadow Pokemon, but didn't they have Shadow Hunter and someone? No, that was an older draft of the team building. <laughs> I can get Garvor out here and just divide it up in half. Oh, this does fix damage. That could be another way to actually get around the whole resisting all my moves thing. Before I get Garvor in here, let me try that. Oh, that's right. Nice. I don't know if I want to talk over this, because I was planning on just cutting around everything except for the catches and other eventful stuff. But I'm kind of actually... But I'm kind of wondering, like, with the, a completely different team here... Yeah, like, it's a completely different team, so the battle might play out differently enough to keep all this in, but... This is, I'm already at attempt number three. I'm already starting to edit this boss fight, even though it's been only a couple days since I last recorded it. I'm kind of struggling about, like... I don't know if anyone wants to watch a three-hour video, and if nothing else, I don't want to upload a three-hour video. I don't even want to upload a one-hour video of this, so... No, here's what I'll do. That way, if it does break out, I should be able to cripple his attack, or chip it down a tiny bit more before it can do anything devastating, but I think as long as Shale Hunter remains disabled, we're good. And here's the other good thing about it. If we do catch it like we just did, that's just solid damage that gets to go on the other Pokemon out. Case in point. You know, not gonna would, but I feel a lot better about this attempt than any other attempt beforehand. We're not even dealing with... He's not even sending out his next Shadow Pokemon. That's great. Yeah, let's go for this instead. Give my Fortress a little more time. I wonder if I could have even gotten away with... <sighs> oh, that's right, you have... The good news is that I made the right choice in protecting. The bad news is I forgot to account for 90% accurate moves. If only I didn't already have Arcane Eye out, I could predict the Fire Fang going to Arcane Eye. This is a dumb idea, but I have just enough faith in myself to give it a shot. Wait, it also relies on the fact of no one else targeting the fortress? Oh, you know what? I think we'll... We're sort of fine. Ryan did take the hit. <laughs> but that's gonna finish me off. Yeah, I guess I was getting a little jealous of everything. I still can't believe they predi predicted the switch or <laughs> didn't want to try to finish me off. Go at... I don't know. I am just shocked that they didn't go for the fire thing again. Alright, um... But do I want the Aerodactyl out here, or do I... This cat turn feels like it's been out for way too many turns as is. So let's give this a shot. <sighs> 
Remember when I said that things are going smoothly, like, five minutes ago? Maybe I should be, shouldn't have been so solid. The problem is that, like, they seem to know exactly who to hit to keep <laughs> me from finishing off this cat turn. Every single time. And Fairy Wind doesn't attack everyone. What is even the point of this move? I just need the cacturn gone, like yesterday. At least I know Aerial Ace isn't gonna finish anyone off by itself. You can try, you can try to survive, but you are going down this turn. And Brilliant says Aerodactyl should let me get a nice health recovery out of this. Well, at least a decent one. And. Okay, oh, that's right. You have a freaking red rock. Okay, uh, if I'm reading this right, this is actually their last two. This is his at last two this time. So I think he might actually just focus on taking care of the Claydol, and by the time that's done, I'll I'm hoping I've hit max turn on the timer balls, and it'll be smooth sailing from there. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything with you to actually... ...do decent damage to Shadow Pokémon. Hmm. Maybe... And this should be enough. I get the feeling like Fortress will be a lot more helpful between an Analyst and Bully. It's just a little bit of a risk to only have those two, in case something goes horribly awry. So I guess I'll take advantage of the fact that Praley's not really going to do too much else with his actual attacks at the moment. And have Garvor do the work until I build up a decent range of backup. Um, you know, Arcane with the Intimidate alone would make it a good alternative. I almost want to just quickly swap into it and swap it back out. Because of stuff like that. That's fine. Praley wasn't going to be doing too much anyways. And this sets up a perfect opportunity to get the sh freaking Shale Hunter move out of the picture. Oh, that's right. Reggie Rock is really slow, so even a Fortress should outspeed it. Is my assumption. Right, it almost gets into the red. Uh, nope. But the good news is, like, it has no reason not to go for that move. It's okay, I might. I got things. Somewhat what in control. Not exactly what I wanted to send out next, but it is better than. A 2v1 situation. And more so, it gives me an opportunity to- I was gonna say, I might have to pull out another Max Revive, but... Arcane 9 probably will do the job of helping us take these hits. Until we can get a proper swap properly. Oh, and I could even use, like, Shadow Switch to actually get Garvor out here safely. Oh, that was my last move. Then what did I- then what the heck did I do with my other Pokemon? Oh, I did the revive. It's alright. I kinda forgot about the sandstorm, so Fortress actually did make a much better wall 
Fortress fit the bill for this boss fight a lot better than Weasling did. Um, do I just go over and Shadow Blaze to... for a tiny bit of chip damage, in case this doesn't work? Nah. Because I'll need the Garbor to put it back to sleep, especially after Analyze. The Disable runs out. I'm gonna do what I meant to do last turn, and just... Get this cladle out of the picture. So here goes the self thing. A one, a two, a three. And now it's just a uh, Reggie Rock who can't really do too much until it gets access to Shadow Hunter again. I think this is the most. This is probably the most prominent use that I've ever had for Fortress ever. And that's saying something, because I've actually used Fortress a couple times in various games throughout the course of my Pokemon history. I mean, I guess I could throw a Pokeball <laughs> for the heck of it. Yeah. It might be. It might have been smart to use my turn to revive or something, but why not have the funny Great Ball? Yeah, I had to take the shot at their things. But the thing is, a 2v1 against Rocky Rock is a lot more manageable than a 2v2 featuring uh, Reggie Rock. Okay, so unfortunately this means I have to waste a turn calling it out. But could be worse. I guess just instead of doing a Shadow Switch, I'll just go right into the Garvor with our canine. He served his purpose, and if he comes out now, he can just, just come back in and intimidate it. Like, if I really want to cheese this fight any more than I already have, all I need to do is just keep swapping our canine in and out, and I pretty much won. And not to knock on wood too early, but. Even without that, I kind of feel you know, like I'm in the advantage. It, as long as it doesn't have Shadow Hunter, it can't do anything to my entire team. And I have the means to get rid of Shadow Hunter whenever I please. So I should be able to cut his health in half. And it should still have more than 50 health. So let's just. On there. All right, moment of truth. That is a bit more than I was expecting it to do, but that's also perfect. Plus, it gives me just enough health to do a shell analysis without fear of knocking it out. I don't want to I don't want to celebrate too early, but I think I got this. I think we've won. I'm just <laughs> See, even with I had things calculated. Even with a crit, a critical hit cannot screw up my date. Not even the biggest folly in Pokemon can stop me now. Do I just go for the Ultra Ball? Yeah, it'll never knock it out, so why not? The only, pro the only downside is that I won't be able to use Shadow and Analyst on it anymore. But I think we're at a point where I don't really need to worry, like... Maybe a crit? Shadow Hunter would be a little scary. But, but beyond that, I think I can outwall anything this thing could do to me. Or we could just catch it like that, and <laughs> all this overthinking is a knot. But yeah, Gordon went down, and that felt a bit more fair than some previous attempts at it. Got, we even got all the Shadow Pokemon. Steelix, Clado, and the Regirock. I'm kind of curious to use the Regirock, but the problem is like it's 
a defensive legendary, there's not really much offense they can offer. Blow up the factory with you in it. You know, all these years of playing Pokemon, I'm finding a little bit of irony in the statement of just the head of Cypher going, screw blowing up the vase with the kid on it, just accept your loss. It's a little double standard. If you know, you know. Yes, I am indeed, Mr. Burke, or should I say Greville, the Grand Master of all Cypher. <gasps> Who could have ever saw that coming? Thanks, Expedition Dump. But yeah. I'm not reading everything going on here word for word, but it can basically be summarized as this is the final stretch. We just got invited by the head of Cypher himself to the Dairy Heart of the Lair. No, this was not the heart of the entire organization, believe it or not. Oh. No ship can get close enough in the rough seas and even manage to do it. The place will be swarming with trainers. You know, with how many extra shadow Pokemon, at least they feel like an extra amount got added in this game. Let's manufacture shadow Pokemon. Ooh. Actually, I kind of wonder if that's new. Because I might get be getting it mixed up with Calcium because you did it in there too. But don't you typically have to take this, take this all to net and have him transcribe it? Either way, where's the vanilla thing or thing the mod added? Saves the middle, man. Oh, do I even spoil myself on everything we have yet to collect? Maybe a little, maybe just a teeny tiny taste of what's to come. Oh, that's right, the shards are sorry, with one of the ones we missed. Just one new shadow Pokemon. That's all I ask. Little King. Okay. I'll save the rest as a surprise. So yeah, I mean, I guess even if... Yeah, I have no idea how long it's going to be, but this is definitely the end of an episode. So, thank you all for tuning in to Pokemon XG and Next Gen. We have a lot of stuff to do before going on to Cypress Key Lair. Both plot and non-plot related, so... Let's get started on that. I think one of our first priorities, though, is getting our team up and level. Because, oh boy, are we going to need those levels if we want to keep up pace with if we're already getting shadow pokemon on level 50 my level 40 team is definitely not going to be good enough and i shouldn't just rely on exclusively shadow pokemon it's an option but the team's the team for a reason oh and everyone's gone <laughs> i'll see y'all later take care